Happy Monday. Glad you're here. I don't know about where you are, but where we are, we're kind of getting out of our COVID restrictions. The uh, local municipalities and county governments have released us from uh, the need to wear a mask or uh, stay six feet apart in restaurants and all that. All the restaurants and the movie theaters are opening back up. So we're kind of sliding back to normal. And that's the problem. Okay, remember when you were in the middle of the pandemic and you had to stay home? Everybody was quarantined. We were staying home. Here's what I heard from, if not one of you, I heard it from all of you. You know, it's kind of been nice not to have to go somewhere every night. You know, I've enjoyed being home with the family. You know, I have enjoyed not having all of these obligations. Now the pandemic is kind of waning. Uh, we're getting out of the quarantine situation. And what are we doing? We're adding back all those things that we didn't miss during the quarantine. We're getting back into the same mess we were before the pandemic hit. So let's stop and be intentional about our time. Paul tells the Ephesians, redeem the time. Make the time count. Now, I don't know about what you think about when you hear the word redeem. My mom kept green stamps. <laughs> if, you're, if you're too young to remember green stamps, let me remind Every time you went shopping somewhere, they would give you uh, green stamps. If you went to the grocery store, they gave you green stamps. And you had a book, and you would, you would stick all of these stamps in the book. And once you got this book full, then you could go to the green stamp store Turn in your books and redeem the stamps for something you needed, a household appliance or something like that. So you would save the stamps and redeem the stamps for something that you needed. That's what Paul is talking about. Redeem the time. Take the minutes and the hours that God gives you and then trade them in for things that are meaningful, kingdom-centered, things that matter. You, do, you don't waste time. You waste life. Okay? So when God gives you those hours and days and minutes and you turn them in, you redeem them, what are you redeeming them for? Now here's the hard truth. Um, one of the things that happens when you do a funeral is you find out what matters. You find out what people miss. You find out what the family talks about. And it's never the things we're spending our time on right now. It's family, it's friends, it's relationships that matter. Nobody ever talks about how much money somebody made. Nobody ever talks about what kind of car they drove. They all talked about who loved them and who was loved by them. Those are the, st the stories that stick. So as we're coming out of this pandemic, blame COVID on letting stuff go. One, you didn't enjoy doing in the first place. Uh, you don't have to do anymore. Those false obligations that kept you busy but didn't really matter, blame COVID. And just say, hey, I can't do this anymore and say yes to those handful of things that matter. You don't waste time, you waste life. So if you were going to make your life count for those things that mattered, what would you do? Say yes to those things and no to everything else. I'm gonna give you about 60 seconds to get that list started and I'll see you tomorrow.